Oh, somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow, huh? Maybe that somewhere is here. Let's see. No breeding's happening. I need to get training these guys. I've had a lot of interest in several of them. If you are interested, you have to understand that these are my top pick dogs. So, um, they're not free, guys. <laughs> the rehoming fee, if you want one as a pet, is still pretty high. Not being rude. Yep. So, apparently, Summer doesn't think I did a good job dressing her. <laughs> uh, hey. I know it doesn't match. We don't care. We're not going anywhere at the moment. We had uh, we had an accident and just needed to get clothes back on. So it is what it is. Styling. And we got spaghetti face. That's because that's how we roll. bath time Bob. <laughs> it's almost dark out dude what you doing that now for he's like oh I make them drink my bath water it's gross dude you're not very nice sir just saying twig 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 what's up little boy Pretty cool little dogs for real. I actually really like corgis. They're really smart. He listens better than most of the bullies do already. He's kennel trained. Still goes potty in there, but not much. And yeah, he gets along good with everybody. Happy as crap, as you see. They're all happy, so that's never a problem. He's a cool little dude. Glad he made it. Old twig. Old T-Wig, you know, you know T-Wig. You do now. Check this out. You can see the end of it. I'm going to find my gold, damn it. Hey, you go to that side, I'm going to this side. There's got to be a pot of gold on one of them. I see the end. Pretty cool double rainbow for real. You can see the other halo. Like that's that's pretty awesome. Oh, thank you, Father. See? That's why I know there's a God. Because he gave that as a sign. Remember? Everybody asks me all the time, are dogs good are the dogs good with the kids? Yeah, they are. Look. She has spaghetti all over her face. Sauce anyway. And they're good, okay? Yes, these dogs are great with kids. I've raised them with my children. Uh, I never said that we matched our clothes the best. <laughs> However, I am able to, so don't question my skills. Hey, what y'all doing? Well, Mr. Twig and Doughboy, what you guys doing? Give you the rundown. We got Twig on the left, Doughboy. Solo, Ripley, Champion Buster, Champion Loso, Miss Ellie, 
big buddy van. Dude's getting big for real. And then Play-Doh in the rocks. Right here. And Miss Lightning. Lightning. What you doing, girl? I think that's everybody. Except for Fly. She's inside because they've been picking on her. I don't know if she's coming in heat again or what, but whenever that happens, she's just going to get kind of... She only will come out with certain ones now. What's up, old man? It was Loso's birthday yesterday. He's five years old now. I watched a show with my buddy Evan yesterday and Bree. About two chains and his dog. Man, we will, I can't believe what people spend on their money or on their dogs. Apparently, uh, I just don't even have any concept of what some people have. I spent like, man, it was like 12 grand on a cake for a dog, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> That's like a whole different world, man. Or gotta be a different world or a different time, cause I don't even, I can't even fathom that, guys. I know you, I, I'm sure most of y'all can't either. If you can, what's up? We need to talk. Like, you know what I could do with 12 grand? Good grief. Half of my floors that I used to do for people made out of concrete weren't even 12 grand. And these people are buying cakes and. One of their dog groomers had a bottle of perfume that was $4,000. Like, holy crap. I I don't know. I I was telling Summer, I said the dog groomer made $150 an hour. And I'm sitting here like I've been a, you know, professional artist and concrete designer and so on in my life. And I don't even know if I've ever made $150 an hour. Maybe on a couple jobs once it was averaged out or something. But I was a little upset yesterday. For real. A dog groomer in New York was making $150 an hour. A mobile dog groomer. So I, I guess it's because of the fuel cost, right? Like, wow, dude. I was really, honestly, that kind of kind of pissed me off. I've busted my ass all my life and don't really have anything left because I had to take care of myself and my family every time I had surgeries and couldn't work and money's gone and these people are making 150 oh there was a hotel for dog hotel that charges $200 a night man I, I don't even know if I've ever spent 200 in, on a night in a hotel for me let alone for my pup I take care of them but apparently I'm a shitty owner compared to some of these people like drop a comment you guys ever did you see that show i don't know what the show was called but it was uh two chains was on it and he he had an awesome little french bulldog like real nice looking little frenchy and uh what was his name trappy <laughs> his name was trappy yeah that was the highlight of my day yesterday was watching a dude spend ridiculous money on his dogs. Oh, and I went to the driving range. So, there you go. Welcome to Disabled Veteran Bibles, Bullies, and Bokies. Solo, come here, girl. Come on. What are you trying to get? Huh? Come here. Good girl. What's up, dough boy? getting big dude yeah solo is uh she's gonna be a year in august and she's very compact she's gonna stay a nice small pocket um which means i'll have to be well if i do breed her keep her i don't know guys i really don't i just got really tired um i'm more considering doing possible co-owns with people on the ones that are remaining to lighten my load so I can work with who I have more as far as training goes and keep and then you know the ones that leave same thing like you know whoever gets them I'd 
they're all show quality. Like every one of these, every one of my dogs that I have remaining is a show candidate. That doesn't mean or guarantee that they will win. Like here, okay? Lightning is a badass female. Like straight up, she has an amazing head. She's good from head to toe, but she's stiff in her rear, okay? That's reality. The judges, you can't hide it. There's no way. When they see her move, they'll see the stiffness. However, she's phenomenal, okay? And the way you would counterbalance that when it goes to breeding, would my plan, my plan, if I ever do it, would be take her to... Where are you at, dude? Come here, man. Come on, Van. Get over here, Bo. To him. Because he's got really good movement, good angulation, no stiffness. Solo, what are you doing? Hey! I think they're going to like the outfit that I chose for her. It's awesome. No, it's <laughs> Say dinner time. Say come on puppies. Say come on puppies. No? Say hey puppy. Say come on puppy. Hey baby. Kind is good. That's right. Hanging out with the dogs. 